And it was kind of one of those weird things that I'm like, I'm just going to try this. And it sold pretty quick. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully source cheap and sell for a profit. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I like to source cheap. That is one thing I am known for. I'm also kind of known for picking up things that maybe you wouldn't pick up. And a lot of those items end up falling into my bread and butter category videos. So these items sold for $35 or less. I picked these items up at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, the Goodwill bins. If you have not seen me dig through the bins, you got to go watch those videos. They are some of my most viewed videos. As I dig and pull items out of the bins, I pop up screen shares of how I listed those items on eBay so that I keep it educational, but you guys still get to see me dig. And you get to tell me which items you think I should have picked up. Like many people would have sourced things that I left behind. So I like to see what you guys would have bought. So go over to my Goodwill bins video and let me know what I missed. Uh, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel was always like, you're missing all the vintage Tupperware. And um, actually, a lot of people have said that, but she loves vintage Tupperware. She has a video where she talks all about it and she tells you which ones to look for. Go check out Noel Farm Girl Scavenger. I will link her down below and check out that Tupperware video. I should watch it again. Kind of maybe motivate me to buy the Tupperware. I just... I always pass it up. I do. I just, my eyes are not drawn to it. Let me know if you sell Tupperware. All right, let's get started here with the first bread and butter bolo items I sold for $35 or less on eBay. They're basically items I source cheap and sell for a profit. Crybaby's Magic Tears. I used uh, Google Lens to figure this out. I got these at a garage sale for $1. Somebody offered me 10 and I went ahead and took that and the buyer paid shipping. So this is what it says on the back. And is it a big money bolo? Nope. But I flipped a dollar into 10 and I was happy with that. Um, another thing that I'd like to mention is a lot of times when sales are slow, if somebody makes me an offer and it's lower than I want to take, but I'm having a slow sales day and I don't have much in the item, I'm more inclined to accept that offer. Festival Park Miniature Pitcher. And this was a bundle deal. The They purchased this pitcher, these little miniature collectible, which are stinking adorable. Look at these. And you hang them on this little thing. Great for a dollhouse. Um, I actually just found more of these at the Goodwill bins, but uh, they're in a bag somewhere. So I got to get those listed. But these are super cute. Use dollhouse in the title. Here are these kitty cats, which are also great for a dollhouse. And I'm going to tell you what they bundled everything for in just a second. Here's another dollhouse figure. And we have this rocking chair, which is also dollhouse. So everything that was purchased was dollhouse aside from this picture. They purchased all of these items, made me an offer of $71 plus shipping for all of them. And I said, absolutely. Uh, this here, my husband gave me. I can't remember where he got it or what he paid for it. These I got at a garage sale. It looks like $4. The cats came from a garage sale. I paid $3, got this at an estate sale and this at an estate sale. And it was in a big bundle of dollhouse items. So probably a dollar or so per item as well on those. This ugly dolls plush. Uh, this came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for it. Ended it I ended up selling it for $17.35 plus shipping. So I was really happy with that one. 
This has been listed forever. I got a whole deck of these FLIR cards and this was a long, long time ago. And I had this genius idea that I was gonna part these out. Um, would I do it again? No, because they're not moving. They're not selling fast. Um, I thought they would do better than they did. These are Casper the Friendly Ghost. I have other ones. Uh, maybe I have them priced too high. I remember comping them out back when I listed them, but I have not researched current comps. I don't know why this says seller does not accept returns. I do accept returns. Huh. Maybe that's why it's not selling. Probably uh, an error in my listing. And they probably all say that because I probably did sell similar on each and every one of them. But anyway, one of them finally sold, which this one probably paid for the whole deck. So they're just sitting there waiting to sell. But I sold this for $12.39 plus shipping. It's one single card. Now, I would consider this kind of like a trading card, ephemera item. Uh, it, they're more they're more long tail. I could probably reduce this to $8 and move these much quicker. The shipping is a little bit high. So I could probably edit these and sell them quicker. Maybe I'll do that and check back with you. And maybe I will forget and never do that and just let them continue to sit because that is what I have a tendency to do is list it and forget it and wait for it to sell. So this I listed March 20th of 2020 and it just sold. So I list it and forget it and it sold. So and I've sold a few others. This is a vintage apricot and apple American Greetings 1979 strawberry shortcake and friends. These came from a garage sale, paid 50 cents, took a best offer of 13 plus shipping. Blaze and the Monster Machine, always pick these up. Um, I love Blaze and the Monster Machine. They typically sell pretty quickly. This one I listed March 29th of 23. So, you know, a month, month and a half to sell, which is great. I love, that's quick to me. Um, I am not, um, I, I, I don't have to flip things quickly. So when they sell quickly like that, that's exciting. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. So probably had a buck or so in it, sold it for $12 and 40 cents plus shipping. Um, I am using the video feature now. If you don't know, you can go onto your computer and you can add a short video that shows how the item works. And when you look at the photos, it is gonna show up at this in the, this area right here. I used to add it to my description. I am no longer doing that. I am still putting my items over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. And that's basically to drive um, people to my eBay store. So I show, how, I take this video, I put it here on eBay, but I also put it on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. And I tell people it's listed on eBay and I link my eBay store. I have made sales from those videos. So definitely something to think about. Um, even if you don't want to have your face on YouTube, you could do just how, how items work and then drive people to your eBay store that way. Kind of a marketing thing, but it's it takes a lot of time. I will tell you that. American Girl doll, I got her at the Goodwill bins and... I wasn't really sure who she was. So I just put blonde hair, green eyes, read, and she sold for $18 and 60 cents plus shipping. She was a little heavier. So probably about three bucks in her. These were listed forever as well. Let's see how long 2021. So not as long as the other one, but this is just an odd item. They're iron on metallic leaves. It's going to take the right buyer and uh, the right buyer finally came along. This took up no space. It was sitting at a tote. I probably got it in a big lot of crafters items and it cost me nothing to just let it sit until the right buyer came along. So that is what I mean by long tail reseller. I also think that because I have between five and 7,000 items listed at all times that I'm not thinking about what I have listed, where if you only have 25 things listed or 50 or 100 or 200, it may bother you more for items to sit longer because you're thinking about your active listings. I'm not. I just list it, forget it. I've got too many other things to think about than just what has not sold. This ended up selling for $9.30 plus shipping. This is a Play School 1987 Weeble Wobble Boy figure from 1990. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter. I sold it for $11.16 plus shipping. 
I absolutely love selling toys. If you're new here, toys are, I, I just love it. They're easy to find. I can find them cheap. They're fun to list. They're easy to ship. And I just, uh, I, I, that's one of my things that I love to sell. So you will see a lot of toys in my videos. Um, I'm looking to bring toys, small toys over to whatnot. Um, I have not done it yet. So I would love your feedback. I know a lot of you guys have been coming to my jewelry shows and my vintage shows. Um, I've had vintage clothing. I've done all kinds of things over on whatnot, but I have not done toys yet. And I really, really want to. And I'm super excited about it, but I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know if anybody is like into buying toys on whatnot. So if you guys buy on whatnot, let me know if you would be interested in ha me having a toy show, if you would come to my toy show. Uh, there is a link below if you're not on whatnot. It is a great place to source, um, but it's also a great place to buy items for personal use. So at a good price, because you started at an auction and um, a start price. And if nobody else bids against you, you can end up getting some items at really discounted prices. And then other times, if more than one person wants it, you know, it's an auction. Sometimes things go for more and you get outbid, but it's a lot of fun. I would love for you guys to follow me on whatnot. If you haven't already, I am Bolo Buddies over there. There's a referral link down below. If you use that referral link, you're going to get $15 to shop. And if you want to sell on whatnot, which, oh my goodness, it is awesome. I love it. And what I really love about it is that you guys come over and hang out. Even if you don't buy anything, you get to come hang out and we get to like chit chat. You know, I I'm live so I can see the chat and I do my best to kind of read it. But man, oh man, I am just like selling, selling, selling. So come hang out with me. I'd love to see you there. Um, again, you don't have to buy anything. Just come hang out in the chat. It's a lot of fun. And if you want to sell on whatnot, there's a referral link for that as well. So if you're already on whatnot, you can just click on that seller's link. It will say I referred you and it could help you get accepted more quickly. Um, I've had a lot of people say they got accepted quickly when they used my referral link. Um, but definitely do the buyer's link first so you get that $15. All right. So we talked about the Weeble Wobble. Let's talk about this Rustberry Heart Throbs Black Gorilla Heart Valentine Plush Stuffed Animal. I got this at the Goodwill Bins, and I took a best offer of $8 plus shipping. This is a Scooby-Doo replacement coffin book parts for Crystal Cove Fight, Fright House Lighthouse. I think I used Google Lens to figure this out because I had no idea what this went to. It is, um, I got it at a garage sale for one buck, and I sold it for $14 plus shipping. This is a Revlon hair dryer, and it was kind of one of those weird things that I'm like, I'm just going to try this, and it sold pretty quick. I got it at the Goodwill bins. It was kind of heavy, so I probably had three or four bucks in it. Sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. This one right here, I also got at the Goodwill bins, and I'm like, what is going on with her feet? Like, I think you stick her in a cake or something. Uh, I don't know, but she sold and she sold for uh, $25 best offer. She is a vintage Hawaiian hula girl and she's pretty lightweight. So I probably had about a buck in her and the buyer paid shipping. So that was a pretty cool bolo. These Legos are minifigures from the movie Frozen. And I did not even put that in the title. That was ding dongy. Uh, ding dongy. That's my word of the day. Ding dongy. I was a ding dong. Uh, got these at a garage sale for $2 and 50 cents and I sold them for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. The next item is this PJ Masks Outlet Turbo Mover Vehicle Light Up Feather Launcher Missing the Blasters, which are the things that shoot out of it. If you find those blasters, you can sell them as replacement parts. So keep that in mind. You do have to identify them. But if you can put that in the title, goes with the PJ Masks turbo, turbo Mover Vehicle. The person that bought this is probably going to be looking on eBay for those missing blasters. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. A little bit heavier, probably about two bucks in it. Sold it for 13 plus shipping. The next item is this Wild Republic Koala Bear. I love koala bears right up there with owls and turtles. Oh my goodness, they are so stinking cute. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for my sale price of $7.80 plus shipping. Here is a Pluffies and I did a whole video on Pluffies and some of the Pluffies can do really well. They are by Ty. This one had some issues right here and on the foot where the thread was coming loose. 
These had pretty good comps, but I listed mine lower because of the condition issues. Ended up selling it for $9 plus shipping. But go ahead and check out that Thai Pluffy's video that I did because some of them go for big bucks. That's one of the better Thai uh, brands, the Thai Lux right here. Pluffy's, Thai Lux Pluffy's. Let me see if I can show you the tag. See right here. That's what you're looking for. And I sold this Here Comes Peter Cottontail DVD for $7.30. Best offer. Uh, buyer paid shipping. This was a sealed DVD. I do pick these up sealed DVDs at the Goodwill bins when I see them because it's 59 cents a pound. So I can get them very cheap. And I like to pick up new old stock sealed items at the Goodwill bins because they're easy to list. DVDs, easy to list, easy to ship. And um, some of them sit a lot of times DVDs are long tail, but that one sold. So thank you all so much for being here. Let me know if you are a long tail seller or if it drives you nuts when your items sit. Um, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video and a subscribe button down below. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and let me know how you found the channel. If you've been here a while, thanks for coming back. I appreciate you all. And I hope you will all come see me on whatnot. Again, that link's down below and you're going to get $15 to shop if you use that referral link. Thanks for watching.